to the Slovak Republic. Uh, Honorable Minister Hardipuri would be going to Hungary. And Honorable Minister General V.K. Singh would be going to Poland. Uh, you've seen some reports already. Let me confirm that. Uh, these special envoys will be traveling to these countries basically to coordinate and oversee the evacuation process there on the ground. Uh, if situation permitting, you might also find them going to the you know, as close as possible to where the evacuation is happening. So that will depend on the specific circumstances. But I think you will see them operating there, uh, coordinating all the efforts and, uh, as I mentioned, being in touch with local authorities and as well as with other partners that are helping in this process. Uh, having said that, uh, just to give you a sense of where our evacuation efforts are, uh, let me begin by saying that the situation on the ground in terms of evacuation continues to be uh, complex and fluid. You've seen that from the reports, media reports that are coming in, some of them quite concerning. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we have been able to accelerate our evacuation process uh, clearly over the last 24 hours. And I will give you separate elements of that. Uh, just a broad numbers. Our estimate is that we have, uh, more than estimate, I think, uh, around 8,000, over 8,000 Indian uh, nationals have left Ukraine since we issued the initial advisories. So I, I go back, it's not since the conflict began, but since we issued the initial advisories, our estimate, estimate to the extent that we don't exactly know how many left between the advisory and the conflict started. Uh, we think around 8,000 citizens have left. Um, and as I speak, I think the sixth flight has just landed. So six evacuation flights have um, landed in India, bringing back uh, around 1,400, 1,396 I think is the number that I have, um, 1,400 uh, students, uh, Indian citizens. These are four flights were from Bucharest, as you remember, and two from Budapest. So the... Uh, sorry, uh, from Bucharest uh -huh. and two from Budapest. Uh, so these six flights have brought back around 1,396 uh, Indian nationals. Um, I will come uh, in a minute. I will come back to the. Six flights, right? Yeah, uh, let me repeat again. Sorry, I think there's some confusion. Um, as I said, over 8,000 citizens have left. That is over the advisory period, and then of course the Operation Ganga as it had started. Uh, we have had six evacuation flights that have landed in India, the sixth one having landed just a little while ago in Delhi. Of these six flights, four uh, left Bucharest and two were from Budapest. The total number of people on these flights, 1396, that's what our numbers are. I will come back to the flights in a minute. Our focus, of course, is on the land borders before they go to the flights, getting people out from Ukraine through the land borders. There has been some movement, uh, an improvement on the movement into Poland. As you re we were discussing yesterday about the difficulties at the Polish border. I think they're, they're still difficult, but I think it's improved. Uh, our embassy in Warsaw was able to ma uh, arrange buses at the Sheni border point, the, the Sheni Medica border point. The Shani side is on the Ukrainian side. So do remember that we are talking about the Ukrainian side. Things are much easier to do on whether it's the Polish or the Romanian or the Hungarian or the Slovak side. It's inside Ukraine, but I must say our embassy was able to organize a fleet of 10 buses. And I think now that's being expanded to take students who have been stuck at the Shani border point uh, and take them to the Krakowiec, which is where the main border crossing is, and also to a place called Budimiers, Budomiers which is even more north, few more kilometers north on the same Polish border, and facilitate their crossing into Poland. Uh, so that has helped um, take off some of the pressure there. But again, this is a continuing process because there were a lot of students, and I think they still are there. On the Polish side, once they cross the border, arrangements for food and accommodation have been made in the nearby town of Resso, I think it's pronounced, Resso. And a number of Indians are there currently awaiting their flights back to India. So this is a good development. We managed to get some people across. And hopefully as this bus movement and taking them to the other border points continues, we should be able to ease some of the pressure. But I must emphasize that this is still a large number of Ukrainians and other citizens. The borders, the border is pretty crowded. Um, there, was, there has also been uh, movement, uh, progress on the border with Romania. 
but there because of uh, you know uh, i think two days ago there was a lot of movement yesterday movement was slow but today i think uh, there have been some good progress but large crowds still remain on in fact all the border points i would say we are um, separately expanding uh, evacuation process through the hungary border uh, there is a city of ujgorod that uh, foreign secretary mentioned yesterday we are using that now as a staging point for that area it is far southwest of ukraine and hungary also we have had good movement of people i am happy to announce that we have also been able to open a new route uh, through moldova uh, and a um, mea team uh, reached moldova today morning as foreign secretary mentioned yesterday that team is now in place and is in uh, operational they will assist, assist in the evacuation of indians uh, through romania moldova doesn't it's landlocked and so these people will come into moldova then go from moldova into uh, romania and then to bucharest and then fly out from there uh, so this new route should help indians in southern ukraine um, you know around odessa and those places uh, uh, i'll come to that and those near ukraine moldova borders i am aware that uh, some people were waiting on the moldova side some people had crossed into moldova but couldn't enter romania so we are now looking at how we can move them from ukraine into moldova into romania so it's a, it's a in process but some people are already in moldova we are trying to see how they can be helped into romania and into bucharest you would recall em spoke with his moldovan and hungarian counterparts yesterday and sought their support in facilitating evacuation of indian citizen today i think he's just spoken to the polish foreign minister and uh, let's see i i as clearly uh, at various levels we are engaged with all the countries there with a the primary focus on this uh, moving on to uh, this is on the western part so moving on to uh, the other parts of ukraine we are encouraging indians to move to western ukraine as we have you've seen the advisories um, our understanding is that some students in some of these cities um in eastern ukraine are boarding trains which taking them to the west uh, you would have seen some social media reports i think honorable minister rr singh also mentioned something uh, some of it is uh, confirmed some of it is happening uh, as we speak but let me let me make a request here and emphasize something to you all and to our uh, you know students and their families who are listening to this we want to emphasize that people should not reach the border directly okay they if they do they will face long waiting times to cross as you have seen in poland border as you've seen on the romanian border so yes please do reach the western parts of the country the western parts of ukraine but please seek shelter in nearby towns let me repeat again i will come back to it um maybe in uh, as i finish uh or if you want i can, uh, देखिए हमारी आग्रह रहेगी सारे जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं इंडियंस हैं कि आप आपको एडवाइजरी दी गई कि आप वेस्टर्न यूक्रेन में जाएं पर मैं ये कहना चाहता हूं आपसे अनुरोध करना चाहता हूं कि आप जब जाएंगे आप वहां पे डायरेक्टली बॉर्डर में ना जाएं आप अगर बॉर्डर में जाएंगे तो वहां बहुत भरी भीड़ है आपको बहुत समय लगेगा आपने पोलैंड में भी देखा था आप अभी रोमानिया में देख रहे हैं बॉर्डर क्रॉसिंग में बहुत समय लगता है ठंड में रुकना पड़ेगा हम अनुरोध यही करेंगे कि आप कोई नियर बाई शहर में जाइए आसपास के वहां गांव गांव तो नहीं शहर में कहीं अगर आपको वहां रहे बंदोबस्त हो रही है कुछ हमारी टीम वहां कोऑर्डिनेट कर रही है पर आप आपके यूनिवर्सिटी वगैरह भी कर रहे होंगे वहां रुके हमारी टीम आपको हेल्प करेगी बिल्कुल पैनिक न कीजिए इनफ फ्लाइट्स हैं हम आपको भी बताते हैं इसके बारे में सो दे शुड शीक शेल्टर इन टाउन नियर द बॉर्डर एरियज एज आई जस्ट सेट एंड मूव टू द बॉर्डर ओनली इन कॉन्सल्टेशन विद आवर टीम्स मूं दिवस मुंबई इंगा बोर्ड